Joe Christofet for America's Best Racing. And let the countdown begin. The older horses, the three-year-olds, the road to Del Mar narrows for the $6 million Breeders' Cup Classic to be held Saturday, November the 4th. Here are my top 10 classic contenders. They were separated by only a nose in the Ohio Derby and both won their subsequent starts. So it's only fitting that we have a tie for 10th. Gervin scored a thrilling off the pace win in the win and you're in Haskell. And IREP was dominant in the Indiana Derby. Kentucky Derby also ran are proving themselves to be two of the top horses in the three-year-old division. They could meet again in the Travers. Number nine, Accelerate slayed the Dragon Arrogate in the San Diego and he's going to take another shot at him in the Pacific Classic. But the 10 furlong distance makes this task even tougher. Number eight is Taprit. The Belmont Stakes winner prefers as much distance as he can get, but we'll have a better idea of just where he fits in after his run in a loaded Travers. A turf horse his entire career, the connections always had dirt in the back of their minds for number seven Good Samaritan. He passed his first main track test with flying colors in the Jim Dandy, smoking both Kentucky Derby winner Always Dreaming and Preakness champ Cloud Computing. It was 11 starts between wins for number six Keen Ice, whose claim to fame is nailing Triple Crown winner American Pharaoh in the Travers. He won the Suburban last out and will look to prove that it was no fluke in Saturday's Whitney. Third to Arrowgate in both the Pegasus and the Dubai World Cup, Number five, Neolithic is back in training after a mild setback, and he may not have reached a ceiling just yet. Off an eight month layoff, number four, Cupid's arrow hit the bullseye in the gold cup. Now that his head's on straight, how good can he be? Upset by Keen Ice in the Suburban, number three, Shaman Ghost still owns a fantastic resume and a short freshening might do him some good. Second in the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile as a three-year-old, number two Gunrunner has his sights set squarely on the Classic this year. His win in the Stephen Foster was a hair raiser, and he'll be the odds-on favorite to take down Saturday's Whitney. A puzzling fourth in the San Diego, Arrogate remains number one off his overall body of work. Bob Baffert is confident he'll bounce back in the Pacific Classic, and with the Breeders' Cup at Del Mar, it's important that he does. The Breeders' Cup at Del Mar is a little bit more than three months away. The horses will charge towards the Classic, and we want your opinion. Is Arrogate still number one on your list? What happens after Saturday's Whitney? Tell us what you think of the three-year-olds. Join in the conversation on Twitter by using the hashtag Breeders' Cup.